Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, and it took so much effort for me to not just keep playing straight through from the last time because I'm excited about what is to come, but it is a new day, it is the 95A update, and the pirates are raining down on Gilead, as was foretold by Lud's prophecy, I'm sure, but we're going to get our butts out of here because we have plenty to do here. We need to return a researcher, we need to figure out where our friendly little red planet is, there's technically a technology cache with a um, alpha core over here. I always forget about that. But we have um, we've gotten some pretty solid profits for things that we've sold. And we still obviously have some things that we can sell as well. I do want to kind of just bump into some pirates on the way out. Especially, you know, I could sell these weapons real quick to um, the Ludic Path. If maybe that's something I feel like that's a pretty good price considering how low... I was able to get those in, so maybe we start by turning a profit, and we're just really... Let me just make sure. I believe it was the sea planets. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do here is just kind of try to make a profit, try to make our way back over home, because we have a Ludic Church group visiting here. Now they... Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Pirate Expedition here. They're supposedly superior. The ground forces are superior. They're supposed to be successful. Yeah, maybe. But I think if we can upgrade our fleet and kind of meet them in the air, things won't be so bad. Let's go ahead and fly out of here and get started. Pirates love us. Um, like I said, there are some bounties here where I could potentially take on all kinds of things, but I'd rather just use the chaos to my advantage and uh, jump to other places. So let's see. If we go up here, the Ludic Church hates us. Or the Ludic Path hates us. The Ludic Church doesn't really have much of an opinion of us. So, cool. We'll just weave around here and get blasted anyway. Nice. All right, so got blasted in totally the wrong direction. Time to turn off our transponder because that's fun. Probably means this is the planet, but we're going to just take the regular, the regular drop in anyway. Keep our transponder off because it's Ludic Path time. Yeah, let's see. We are looking for... Oh, the station. Okay. So these watchers, they're raiding a star system. Cool. Abandoned space station. Oh, boy. There it is. All right. So as long as they don't really know who we are, they're running from the fleet, which is good. Um, we could do military options here. But I think the first thing I want to do is um, sell. Now they don't have like a maximum disparity here. They have a pretty high demand. So once we sell 200 of these, these are going to sell for 468, which is still better than anywhere else. Um, volatiles, not the best to sell here. Um, local deficit, we could sell some Marines if we wanted to. I kind of want to hold on to them for now. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have too much to sell here. So I will happily take that much money. Uh, it doesn't look like they have a lot of, like, excess stuff here, but, yeah, pretty good. Just very curious, by the way. Um, they don't have too much here. They never have too much here. If I consider my military options and we want to do a raid on this, their defenses are, their defenses are okay. Like, other, other groups and other people saw us come in, so... I think at this point I'm just going to let a sleeping dog lie. We've got, um, just because we can raid doesn't mean we should raid when I've got other business to do and other pirates to try and knock off. We actually have a pirate base right here. Maybe we do raid the pirates for just a few supplies on the way out. So profitable trades, that's good experience. We bumped into a bubble. That's also a good experience. But yeah, we're just going to kind of work our way east see how this works here. Uh, Persian League with a cryovolcanic world that's next to a pirate planet. That's nice. So we have a few monthly expenses. That's entirely because I'm carrying too much crew, but we'll um, deal with that later. So I could have sold drugs here for not a ton, but a lot. And it seems like they just have excessive all of these things. More Hellburn cannons. Nothing too exciting here. Definitely nothing too exciting here. So, military options, 
See, these guys have no defenses, so we can totally get some stuff here. I want to do a supply run. Um, we don't want to... I guess we could take a few drugs. Anything else seems good. Ship equipment, they don't really have a lot here. I mean, we could always take the drugs and then sell them to uh, somebody else. That seems fine. So light losses. Let's do it. Launch the raid. 42 Marines gone, which sucks a little bit. But we're still at 500, which is fine. Got some supplies and some drugs, which is all we uh, really want here. And we'll just peace out. And I could potentially try to take on the Persian League there, but we're not going to. Let's just jump. And, um, oh, they're pursuing a bounty hunter, so they're not pursuing us, that's fine. These guys are going dark because they're trying to get away from things. I don't even know if they succeeded. So let's see here, good, good stuff here. We do need to go to, uh, Tribeca, which means we probably, and it's not called Tribeca. It's called something else, but it does mean we do need to keep our transponder on because this is one of the places where I've kind of pissed off people already. Um, and I am going to pay attention to new contracts just because I may end up doing some bounties while I wait for the uh, Persian League to get here, but I just kind of got to figure out, like, I could probably do a bounty like this for 228. Um, we, just, we just want them to be kind of in the vicinity. Could possibly take out a base as well, but I have some... Uh, building I want to do it. Oh, I actually um, just was busy talking and flew right by where I was trying to go to, and my fuel situation actually is getting a little low. So, let's see here. Where is our best drop-off point? Once again, we can click here. See that the station is down on the bottom here. So, there we go. Actually, right next to the star, if I just clicked on it. Good to know. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place mentally, but physically we know where we're going. That's such a tiny white dwarf that I just nearly flew into anyway. All right, so transponders on. This is fine. If we look over here, their military, their defenses aren't too bad. I could potentially raid them, but we're not. We're not going to do that. We could actually drop off a bunch of a. Uh, ooh, they actually have a pretty nice demand for volatiles. That's probably worth visiting Sendria on the way back up since we collected so many and we might be collecting some more here in just a minute like any little profits i can make is fine because i do want to pop uh, a third colony out and that colony is going to be um well that colony is going to be for my uh, heavy industry so i can start building some of my own ships i only have a regular old corrupted nana forge but it's fine um but see i'd like things like commerce if i could get it Anyway, um, com directory. Spence Guzman! Hey, Goose. Um, so we need to barter with Spence Guzman about a price. Is still, And this is the same sort of red beacon as before. Still no sweat off my back if you're looking to find trouble. In other words, he's kind of like, you know what? You really want to find what this red planet is, and you want to go like get yourself destroyed. Be my guest. I'll, I'll make some money off of it. So we got a little bit of money here. Um... We have a person here. What kind of opportunity? I don't really want to do investment stuff right now. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. And um, I could arrange to find their way into your account if we do some kind of operation here for Lloyd Elysium. Oh, I did not mean... To, uh, raid the Rare House and Karas and the Yamad system. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's a pirate base, so that's fine. Yeah. We're kind of going up that direction anyway, especially if we're going to be going here next. So, where's our red planet? Okay, not that. Um, hmm. I'm sorry for the little sounds here. Oh, it's on the bottom right. Okay. You talk to the old space there, you found the location of the planet. It's down in Thoros. Cool. So, if we want to get just completely obliterated we need to um and i don't think we get oh that's really loud i don't think we get completely obliterated but it's definitely something that we'll need to uh, pay attention to all right so while we're while we're planning on going to uh pirate base here while we're here since drugs are illegal to trade let's take a look here 
Um, Ascania, they have good prices. Thrul, amazing prices for that demand. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna make a little profit run here, just on the on the way out. So we need to go to Sandria. We need to go try to get some drugs from there as well. That'll be that'll be pretty good. Do we have a good alignment for the uh, other system? Not really. I mean, we have a pirate base right over here. So let's do that. Um, is any patrols or pickets coming for us? Not really. I guess we're not suspicious enough. So if we go over here, turn our transponder off, we have a Dominion error probe, Domain error probe. I always think Dominion. It's a Star Trek thing. So we could actually take on this base right here. Not that we really want to, but once again, these your drugs are good and valuable, and it's a great way to make money. If we can not get stopped by hegemony patrols in time, so that's fine. Military options here. Uh, we can engage the battle station, but I don't think we want to do that. Um, their defense is okay. Do we really want to do this? I think we do. Like, we could try to grab some more supplies, some more luxury goods, things like that. Um, supplies, they're apparently guarding really hard, but let's do the raid thing. Launch raid, we lost 38 marines, they're vengeful, but profits! Alright, so let's bust a hightail out of here. Hopefully nobody gets mad at us for just turning on um, our beacon. Transponder, whatever you want to call it, is fine. Alright, so where are we going? If we are trying to sell these... Um, I think we go the Thulean Raiders first, and Thule. We work our way over to Sandria, and those are going to be some good profits here. Didn't I have something else I wanted to sell in Thule? I feel like I've already been there once before. Okay, they want heavy machinery. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. I'm running I'm running out of stuff to wheel and deal, which is fine. That's literally the point of these kind of trade runs, is just to make a little bit every time you pass through. And we have a derelict here. That's a kite. Somebody dropped their kite. Makes me a little sad. So that's really close to home. And it's a derelict ship, so let's actually accept that. That's easy money. Oh no, if we fail it, the pirates will be mad at us. Um, Thulean Raiders. Let's see here. Thule. Where, where are my pirates at? They're all the way over here. And I don't think that actually has a uh, little gravity well, unless it's this one, so. We'll try turning off our beacon, trying to do a transverse jump. See if this is successful. Not, not really, but it puts us close enough. So still not doing great on fuel. That doesn't put us in the direction we want to go. I have a very angry dog all of a sudden. So that's exciting. Let me check on the dog. Because I'm pretty sure you just want to attack the male. Yes, what is it? You're just, you're just gonna growl just a little bit. All right, look, it's literally nothing. Just a little bit dog literally barking at nothing what else is new all right so hopefully hopefully we can still sell these for a pretty penny we can so we're just gonna flood the market with recreational drugs and make that much money that's that's what we call profit we're over a million oh my gosh we actually dropped their stability down to one <laughs> Oh my god, if we uh, raid this, I might actually knock them all the way to being decivilized. Um, let's buy their marines. Those heavy armaments are not a good price. Really, none of this is a good price. Oh my god, that feels a terrible price. But look, our marines actually have an upgrade, so that's nice. 
Um, we can buy 11 Marines here as well. You know what? Let's see what happens. Consider your military options. Um, why can't we launch a raid? Probably because uh, the defending ships present with the support of the station sufficiently prevent raiding. Well, you know what? Good job, guys. Let's give it a second while they run a little bit. We still can't. We still can't do it. Okay. I'm gonna give it one more go. All right. I'm not. I'm not waiting around. We got other stuff to do. We made. We made our money. Um, we need to go over here, and we'll just have a good time with it. So I'm getting a little better at sneaking in, sneaking out of places. That's a good skill to have. But yeah, we have we have a lot of money that we can now drop into our colonies. So here comes the expedition. Um, it's one fleet. It already arrived. Huh. Well, you know what that means. These, these profits are good, but I don't know if they're that good. We're too busy. We're too busy making money over here. Let's go. Let's go back to the base and see if we can, uh, put a stop to this. Cause that would be really nice. Now these expeditions at the end of the day are not like going to hurt too badly, but one thing I would really have liked to have done is that, I guess I didn't pay enough attention. I thought I had some time to actually like, there was going to be some time between when they were sending the expedition when they actually get there. So major combat readiness, damage ship. Shit. Okay. Um, I forgot to do this. I actually meant to resume repairs on this, so... We need to be especially careful flying through these hyperspace storms now. So let's uh, try to be careful. Alright, we have enough supplies to make it through. Like I said, it's a little silly that I messed that up. But that's what happens when you just stop playing kind of between videos and then you forget kind of what's going on. So I'm a little concerned that we're not going to make it to the home planet in time. I hope we can. Um, we are definitely going to transverse jump in there. So Space Raptor repaired structural damage. <gasps> Space Raptor is is uh, actually looking good. Um, let's see. Okay, I want to actually view the planet. I guess I shouldn't do it from the Intel screen. So where's our good jump? I think it's up here. Yeah, we're up. We're right here. All right. So, jump in. Hopefully be able to stop these crap heads in time. Okay, so they're raiding us. Oh, there's their fleet. That, that's a good fleet. I, I approve of the Ludic Church. You're actually trying your best. And those ships are pretty well built. Well, let's, um, let's do this thing. Okay, repair your ships. First off, there's there's a lot of things I gotta do. We can walk to a man with the paper here. Oh, what do you know? Go to the man with the paper book and see what he wants. Welcome, I've got something here that you'll find very interesting. Your actions over the past several cycles have caused quite a stir in certain corners. I looked upon myself to look into the history as it were. So, we get humanity's trash history. Thank you, fascinating and all, not at all alarming. So what do we have for me? Uh, we can have a blueprint for a Tachyon Lance or a blueprint for a Doom class phase cruiser. Hmm. Or I could try to get something later. I think I well first off I already have a blueprint for Tachyon Lance. Uh the phase cruiser is interesting. The thing is is that anytime I uh, ask for these I end up it'll end up costing double the next time I do it. So I think I'm going to use the story point just for this. And see you again soon, and he's going to give us that information. Because we kind of want to build that up a little bit. Now, in terms of our fleets and everything, first things first, let's refit this puppy. I'm going to put a beta core in it. That's I could put an alpha core, but I kind of want to save alpha cores for some bigger ships that are floating out there. But we're also going to fully integrate it. Well, we have to actually assign it first. Then we have to... Um, 
fully integrate it, which means we can't actually tear it out, so there we go. So now it's level 6, and you see it gets an extra combat ability. Hopefully this ship doesn't end up exploding and dying. Now, in terms of things that we can equip, I could do mining pods, which uh, technically don't do a lot. I could do flash bombers. I'm going to do some sparks, just because kind of it's, it's a little bit fun, just to see what happens here. We have an integrated targeting unit, which is... Uh, I don't think targeting is going to be as much of a problem because this ship is going to be... Uh, well, let's look at what an integrated targeting unit does. See, it ends up increasing the range of weapons. The thing about the Brilliant, and because it's being controlled by Reckless AI, is that it is, it's going to get in people's faces. And I'm going to give credit again to David for his Sachi, who has been putting a lot of comments out there. And I'm going to be using his build for this just kind of to get started here. But the point that he made that I thought was really good is that I'm used to trying to build ships with just like having enough capacitors to make it work and putting a bunch of vents in there as well. But since we are going to be adding safety overrides to this, and we're going to be building in safety overrides, if I can find it, safety, there we go. Um, since we're going to be building this in, uh, this ship is going to be kind of aggressive. So that'll be fun. Now the next thing is um, because we're going to be trying to get a lot of capacitors and we want to make sure we don't take a bunch of shield damage here. I'm going to put um, hardened shields on this. Actually, hardened shields is already on it. And um, I just want to double check. I hate alt tabbing here like this, but I had it open, so I apologize for cutting off the sound for a second. Um, we have hardened shields, and we actually have um, shield conversion to the front as well. Like accelerated shields, which is something else he'd build it in, is good. It increases the rate in which the shields go up, but. Um, one thing that I found very interesting was a shield conversion, if I can find it. If I knew my alphabet, I could do this really well. Shield conversion to the front. The stable emitter position results in 50% reduction to the shield's up, uh, up cost, upgrade cost. Ugh. We'll think about that. So we have safety overrides. We have hardened shields. I may put another story point to go ahead and add that in. And obviously, because we are running a uh, ship here that we're going to be on low combat readiness, the more things we add into it. Right now, seven combat readiness is fine, but we're going to need to uh, work with that a little bit more here. Now, the build, and I do really like appreciate this build here. The goal, as uh, Mr. Versace put it, is to try and make sure that you're not making allowing the aggressive AI to overflux itself. Which is why we are just going to be putting like some very basic just point defense lasers over here, over here. Um, even on like the medium slot, the plasma cannon is going to be doing a lot of work. The point defense lasers are just kind of there. The um, guns here, I got to double check and make sure on this, but it's a, it should be a heavy, no it's not a heavy auto cannon. I apologize. It's a heavy machine gun. So once again, we're looking at weapons that don't do a lot of flux per shot because we're doing safety overrides on this. And I know there's a button for um, just being able to put these things here again and again. But yeah, this, thing's, this thing is going to like try to murder things and it's probably going to do a pretty good job um, as long as it lives, which makes me think, you know what? Uh, we have like some space for capacitors. We have a few space for vents. I'm, you know what? We... We don't get story points all the time. We're going to go ahead and build in hardened shields as well. The one thing that is a little bit different is uh, the person who came up with this build really does have like his skill tree is very different than mine. He has uh, 10 points and in, um, in the technology tree, which means he can both grab these and put a third uh, hull mod on here. So that's that's some dedication right there. But for me, that's uh that's not quite what we're doing today. So heavy machine gun, we'll put there. I don't even know if the auto fire makes a difference, but uh, this is this is a fun build. I have tested it a little bit off camera just to see if I can make it function because I had to make a few deviations here, but it should work. Plus we are, have our 70% combat readiness because if we look at our skill here again, uh, we're at 32, we have 94% combat readiness and uh, 
I could run another Brilliant if I got a little bit more skills here, but I want to get some fast frigates to make it work. So we're going um, to add you to the fold. Welcome. You're going to be very aggressive, and that's fine. Now, in terms of fighting back this thing, I think it's time. Um, you know what? We're actually going to pull out the Light Witch as well. Hem Old Hem of the Earth is fine. Um, we're under crew strength now, but like I said, for some reason, we're just able to prepare all this stuff as the uh, Ludic Church is kind of just hanging out. But we wanted big space battles. This is how you get big space battles. So I think what this also means, to be honest, is that I can go ahead and uh, store you, store you, store you, store you, store you. That's fine. We just we just literally want combat ships out here right now. We'll figure we'll figure these things out later. I do have a few marines, which is nice. Um, I do need to buy some more crew, which is why I wasn't stressing too much about the amounts before. How much crew do I need? I need let's get like um because we always want to go a little bit over in case combat goes south. Let's get 500 crew. That's fine. Um, while we're at it, let's make sure we store all the things in case this battle doesn't go well. And I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go fun. We we put the fun back in fun here. Like it's possible because this is such a big fleet from the Ludic Church that uh, things are gonna go south or sideways, and I won't get out of this like clean or scot free. But I have a lot of ships. They have a lot of ships. Um, that is that is two cryorhythmic cores right here. That's okay. Um, we still continue to have uh, space here. If we look at our colony info, um, this is still building. And I think because we have a million burning in our pocket, we should go ahead and upgrade to a high-tech battle station. And then we're going to use the remainder of this money, assuming things go well. We're going to use the remainder of this money to go ahead and uh, build our third colony here. Um, in fact, I am going to turn hazard pay back on just so we can grow a little bit. I know that's going to cut into our profits a bit, but once we get the spaceport done and once we get the orbital station done, that stability bonus and the market share bonus is going to be pretty good. By the way, why is the Ludic Church mad at us? Inquiring minds would like to know. Oh, they don't, they don't like us making organics? Okay. They don't like us actually doing really good in the market just in general. Well, that's too bad. Um... All right, so while we're here, I'm just busy shooting the shit. Um, we have a big fleet coming on us here, uh, phrasing, but we have a big fleet that's uh, approaching us. So let's go ahead and buy some fuel as well, because we have excess money. Don't want to buy too much fuel. Uh, I don't expect us to really like be chasing them out anywhere, but we're going to do this. We're going to go to the fleets. We have some ordnance points. I'm going to make this build very similar to uh, the other build that I had, and I think it is probably time. Oh, wow. You actually need to go back in the astral. So we're going to upgrade. Well, first off, we can level you up. Um, phase mastery would be cute. We'll put target analysis on you. But I think we're going to do steady, 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 steady. Uh, we don't really like cautious on some of these people. Reckless is fine. Um, I think we put... Uh, yeah, this is hard, but not that hard. We'll put Mimus in here. That's fine. And uh, for the Astral, we've got to remember to um, reassign this officer who's been taking bag from us for a while. But she's good. So... Rebuild this real quick. I really like the build that I have here. This is proving to be pretty effective. So we're just going to kind of do it again. Uh, Locust SRMs are fine. There's other weapons that we can do here, but we have, once again, energy versus shields on one side, armor on the other. Now we have like Gauss cannons. We have the Molnir or Molnir. I haven't had anybody tell me that's wrong. We could do Storm Needler as well. What do we have here? We have Gauss Cannons and uh, Hespidus. If we put a Storm Needler, that's just going to be a little bit of a closer range. And maybe, maybe I want that, but... Okay, so... Armor, armor. 
Shields, shields. I think the Gauss Cannons are just good. Plus, the nice thing about the Conquest is that you can... You notice these things are so cheap? That's because of... Uh, that's because... Oh, we're actually putting Gauss Cannons on both sides. That's a happy little accident. So, shields. We want our armor gun here. That's because they have a, a little bonus for anything we put in here is... Uh, logistics is reduced by 10 or the cost of it so medium missiles here I don't even know if I really care too much about that but we'll put do these have tracking they have poor tracking but it's not my problem small energy turn we're gonna do some long-range point defense lasers like this is this is a gun ship so we're just we don't really care about like anything other than just being able to let it shoot its guns and um, I think I uh, have an IR that's fine okay so we're already using quite a bit flex distributor we don't care about top speeds not great integrated targeting unit is fine oh it's because we have so many capacitors and so many vents the thing about the vents is the vent number is just a little bit misleading here because really what it's going to boil down to is that we're not firing all the weapons at the same time. They don't even face the same way. So auxiliary thrusters, hardened shields seems to be um, seems to be pretty seems to be a pretty effective combo here. So let's do it because um, I kind of just want to get into the fight pretty soon. All right, so hardened shields. We actually have enough room to throw one more thing in here if we want to. So I guess it's probably going to be hardened subsystems. And then we just put some more up here. All right, cool. Somehow this build ended up really different than this build, but it's fine. Um, Conquest, D-Class, Battle Carrier. This one has a bunch of D mods, but you know what? We will we will fix it in time, just like we fix everything else. All right, so anything that we're missing from our fleet? Final checks. How many battleships are we fielding? Five. How many cruisers are we fielding? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now the thing is, is that we we'd really like to have some tiny frigates, but we don't. Um, anything else we want to do in the colony here? I don't think so. By the way, I do want to see where the Doom Blueprint ended up. So Humanity's Trash History. Oh, look at our history! Look at look at us go. Level 14. So this is that's that's all really nice. Um the Doom's actually not too far. That's uh that's some oh, okay, well it's on the opposite side of the map than I thought, but that's closer than I expected. But anyway, we can we can build that relationship with someone who's already here. Anyway. Hello. Blessed mission. You're hostile. You're now two stars. And I think we don't even take it. We, I think we just meet you in the field. Look at our poor picket. They're trying. Look, they just like literally breathed um, and said, no, we're done. Um, okay, we're, we could potentially join the battle. I should have probably checked. Okay, so there's there is there is their ships. Um, we did want big space battles. We're actually near our uh, spaceport as well. Oh man, that actually took a little while to load. So we can deploy, uh, we have 60 deployed. We can't undeploy those. Gosh, that's so, so many, so many ships. I think we actually hold off on one of the legions right now. As weird as that sounds. And uh, because we can field two of these and fit in one of these and fit in that as well all for the price of a legion so we have some backup that we can deploy which is literally the idea here so let's go ahead and deploy we have our space station that's not doing so great and we're all just kind of coming here seeking sweet revenge all right so how do we want to do this we like the buddy system. You're here. You're over here. With um, 
how about we go here with this conquest here at this conquest we could try to have uh, we could try to reel in space raptor by having it follow here a little bit i think that's fine i think the number one thing we need to do is to just come to the aid of our poor station that's already under attack like i hate i was hoping that when i engage them outside that we wouldn't be like immediately facing everybody here but we're just we're just gonna have to go broke we're just gonna have to see what we can defend in time and zoom out our poor buffalo's dead our poor space station's dead our ecm rating's terrible but yeah we are we are literally taking these guys on in the field so their two legions are in the back Got a bunch of other stuff up here in the front. We can see our Brilliant already doing things. So we're just going to try to get up there ASAP. Wow. Not like that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Still a thing in this game where you will hook around shields like this. So we have a bunch of shit firing off in a hurry. It's like this feels like forever how far we're gonna have to travel, which is weird because technically, oh, okay, the orbital station got disabled. That sucks, but I didn't want to fight around the orbital station anyway. So, hopefully, that doesn't mean we automatically lose. I mean, we will rebuild this to make it better, faster, stronger, and our poor Astral is like not keeping up at all. But once again, it's the two legions that are going to be the issue. So we've got to we've got to figure this out a little bit in a hurry, and maybe not put you in such an aggressive posture here. Yeah, like that guy is just going up to get killed. Are you sure you're not the brilliant? Just ask him for a friend. Okay, yeah, I think you're dead. I think you're actually dead. All right. So let's go ahead and see if uh, you just get the hell out. You you run. Let's try to reinforce here. What can we What can we bring in? Let's bring in Legion number two. Um, yeah. So clearly. Clear you are not capable of handling this responsibility. But it's okay. Gotta get my shields up all of a sudden. Alright, so there's our poor space station doing things. There's a bunch of missiles coming our way. We're taking a lot of hits from the Devastator here, but that's fine. I'll accept this role as main tank and hopefully not get killed in the progress. I don't really want to have a legion gun me down and vent right here, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there's, I'm going to take some missile hits. This sucks. This sucks quite a bit, but take a little bit of damage. We want you buddy systeming with this now. So where's our brilliant? Our brilliant's over here. We still want to pressure these guys. We want to send you after the legion here. We've got another legion that's on the way. I'm going to send you up here as well. We're just going to see if we can bust straight through the middle here. So Legion on Legion combat. And I've really got to watch my flux. Okay, so they, we got a lot of fighters on them right now. Looks like our missiles are down though, which sucks. So point defense is good. Their legions are going back to back. You, you're being fun, but we really, these guys are not big threats. Big threats over here. So hounds destroyed. Let's make sure we're actually on ourselves here. So I took a little bit of hull damage. So there's our brilliant doing brilliant things following one of our uh, other ships. All right, so... Hopefully we can get our flux down. We're going to get another bump here in just a second. 
So let's regroup. It's a decent start. If we can just kind of get their attention. But not too much attention. Let's see if can we okay good. We our missiles are back online. So Apogee. Let's send you over here. Astral's following that ship, it should be okay. Alright. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get them flexed out here in just a second. As we're kinda getting shot on the side as well. Okay, there we go. More missiles. That's a good start. And the nice thing here is that they're taking the Foot Clan approach. They're just kind of, they kind of have one Legion in a position to engage and one Legion that is not in a position to engage. So we're going to be able to just constantly fire missiles at them. It's a lot of shit coming for me though, but there we go. We got them fluxed down. Brilliant's still trying to follow. Let's send the Brilliant over on this guy on this side. Okay, we might be able to take down a Legion here if we can just get the shot off in time. This might do it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, so close. All right. So let's regroup. There we go. Conquest is doing good, taking a few hits. One of our Apogees is doing good. Let's do another Reinforce here. Let's get a Dominator in the battle. And, um... Let's go ahead and send you up here to fight. I mean, this is a little awkward without the Orbital Station, but... We're trying to make it work. There we go! One Legion down! The Pendants of Labor. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a lovely name. Blessed be. So this Conquest up here... Our Conquests are, um taking some hits so maybe maybe we retreat you no command points available next command point is available in 13 seconds so in 13 seconds we will have your retreat but once again it's really nice the uh, legions just lined up and that's a little bit of the ai so we can actually take a look for a minute at how good the brilliant is at uh frying things Okay, so brilliant. Space Raptor reporting combat readiness issues. That's one of the things you'll have to watch out for with it, but it's fine. Yeah, we, we clearly have you in good position. Alright, so you, you're retreating. Alright, that's fine. Like, literally nothing else is a threat at this point. And we have a lot of suppression missiles coming at them. So what's this Legion doing? I guess it's trying to go for the same thing, but it's getting in some fights on the side. All right, I think it's time to uh, send the send the buddies in here. Send some missiles in here. There we go. Oh, that's a hit. All right, so look at this. We are we are just knocking them down. They hit our orbital station which we can repair. But we, we're we defeating their fleet. So I hope the game doesn't call this like a loss on my end. Look at that, the whole ECCM package. There we go, this might actually do it. That's two legions down. So they're defeated. Let's go ahead and claim victory. All right, so we retreated. They got all these things out of here, but we beat their big ships. We lost 140 crew. We got some extra experience here. We're going to order our second in command to take care of this. Let's send you, 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 you and you. That seems fine. All right, so look at this. We, we took out most all of them. Consider ship recovery. We could actually recover a legion strike battle carrier from them and you know what i think that's another trophy worth having i really don't know if i'm going to use it or if i have a place for it in the fleet but i'm going to take it anyway just because i can 
All right, so recover. Pick through the wreckage. Look at all look at all these gifts that they give us here. A lot of auto cannons, things like that. And not enough crew to keep ships combat ready. Um, we did we did actually manage to defeat their uh, expedition, so that's great. But yeah, so far so far pretty good. We have our little dudes trying their best. But let's go ahead manage colony. We're straight to the fleet screen. You are going to be put on ice. So look at that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry if I'm maxing out my mic a little bit, but there's there's our first big like honking chonking battle, I guess as it were. So what can we do now? Um, I have a few ideas for places I want to go, things I want to do. Um, I that was officially level 15, so I've got to think about what I want to do with that skill point a little bit because it would probably be a good idea to maybe go towards getting crew training. I'll have to lose some skills for that. Might even have to lose shield modulation, which is not my favorite to lose, but probably systems expertise, as weird as that sounds. Um, but I'll, I'll think about it. I'm definitely open to suggestions for what to do with skills. But in terms of fleets, I think for the time being, we're just going to put uh, glasses over here at Richard Juma back on the, back on the, well, am I even taking both legions right now? I don't know. If we're um, doing a, you know what? I think we are. I think we may take the whole friggin' thing because even though I picked up one legion, there is another space place that I need to visit. And that area has a 14th battle fleet legion back up here. I think it's this system. Um, can I actually look at it on the map here? So red dwarf, Lots of stuff here. Derelict ship, derelict ship, derelict ship. I do want to come back here. Um, the thing about it is that there is, if I remember right, a actual warning beacon. That's pretty harsh up there. But it's cool. That just means that uh, we can possibly get a few more uh, remnant ships. So I think I am going to try my best to uh, kick, kick butt and take names the next video. If only because there's another ship I want to recover. So we're going to, um, we're going to take one tank. We're going to take one of these with us. We're going to take probably two fuel things with us. We're not going to take the, uh, trooper carrier right now because I think our next mission is really just going to be a coordinated strike against the remnants to see if I can get some other ships as well. Oh, I actually never actually refitted that. Let's uh, auto fit that real quick. And then instead of auxiliary thrusters, what did we decide was better on this? Probably, well, efficiency overhaul, if we can do it. There we go. Um, makes it less less of a problem. And we can probably put auxiliary thrusters on there as well. Cool. So there's that. Here's these ships. That's possibly a lot of fuel. I'll have to I'll have to think about it. But right now, how many supplies is it going to take to repair? Five hundred. Not the worst. All right. So before we go, as I have a lot of crew here, I do need to set up something else. And that is, if I look at my planets, it's probably that's probably the better way to do it here. Planets in our current system. Um, we have this place that we are putting a patrol HQ on. We have this place that I could potentially put another patrol HQ on because it has extreme heat. This cryovolcanic world, which has a terrible hazard rating. Or we can go ahead and do this planet here to go ahead and build heavy industry into. I think that's going to be the plan to do this right now. So uh, let's go ahead and leave here. See how gross our... Oh, we didn't actually get supplies. Well, it's we can't actually colonize without supplies, so that's a little bit of a problem. Manage the colony. Supplies, please. Buy them at the market value. Uh, fuel, please. Because we're probably going to need it. Um, I have metals and volatiles that I can get rid of. So that's fine. We need to buy 
what a thousand crew we're literally just dumping them one planet over so that's fine and let's buy just for good measure because we lost some crew last time 200 additional crew we're still carrying 500 marines so you see right here we're going to be taking a little bit of a financial hit here next time but still like i said that's that's kind of the idea how to how to play the game a little bit is that we we have someone that tries to bring a much bigger fleet and because i've been playing risk averse early i'm able to kind of take that on a little later that's a really long flight for that barren world but it'll be worth it i think maybe possibly but yeah so we're just going to finish this up and then we're going to call it a video this is asher with star sector and we are going to actually go on our own reclamation mission the next go around i didn't i never actually went back to turn in my by the way here's our recovered uh ludic church prisoners so let's go ahead and do this consume consumed consumed that's fine i'm not as excited about mining here we could potentially get rid of the cold but let's establish a colony we're gonna keep the name because i'm not big on naming other things other names so right now there's a little bit of a food shortage a little bit of another shortage but this is where I have it can't talk so where heavy industry is going to be and we're going to go ahead and build some ground defenses as well and uh, that'll be that'll be some good money here because once we uh, have the heavy industry in place and we can put even a corrupted nanoforge is enough to be worth starting to build some stuff but more importantly uh, I can build my own weapons I can build my own ships with demods if I really want to uh, we can't do Freeport yet, but we can do Hazard Pay. This is actually quite a relief at only 175, so that'll be fine. Cool. Well, um, Dockside Bar, there's already, already someone down here. Um, they need an estimate of... We need an agent to extend the colony of Umbra. A flag task force cannot do this. Uh, Umbra is actually a pirate place as well. I just want to double check and make sure that uh, I have this right. So accepted, air analyze the derelict ship, disrupt the competitor in Koros. Umbra should be right next door, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit next door, probably good enough. We have a derelict ship we can visit as well. So I think we'll take care of some of that stuff. I'll just take the whole big ass fleet with me because we're just gonna jump straight there and then jump straight up here to see if we can take back the things that are deservedly ours. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks you all for uh, your patience with uh, me going through kind of hemming and not really hemming and hawing, but just going through and being like, okay, how do we build this? How do we make it stronger? How do we make it better? Um, eventually we're going to be doing really good on money. So we're pretty close there already, but that's it for now. This is Asher with star sector. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We're up to colony number three. And while I do have a lot of money, that's going to kind of go by the wayside a little bit, which is one reason I want to do just one quick run kind of through the cool worlds before we go North, just to make sure I have everything that I have because I've racked up a bit of a tab doing some repairs here, but Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We will do this again soon. Like the video if you liked it. I had some questions in the comments, so hopefully somebody wrote them down because I forgot now. But we'll do this again soon. Take care.